You've probably heard that if you got scratched in the Middle Ages or any time before the modern era, that it would kill you. Well, that's not true. In the 16th century, the German knight Gutz von Belichen got his arm blown off by a cannon during a siege. He lived, got a prosthetic arm made of iron that could open and close its hand to grip weapons and tools and even a quill to write and continued fighting and leading for the next few decades. Earlier, sometime between the 9th and 7th centuries AD, a Lombardian, possibly warrior, got his hand cut off or lost in some way, so he had a knife belted to his wrist. And we know he lived for a while after, and that was rather effective, as this wearer from tightening the belt with his teeth. So a scratch would not kill you. It did have a higher chance of killing you than it does these days, but not that much greater. They weren't that filthy in ancient times. Even in the Middle Ages, people like say, oh, they didn't bathe. Yes, they didn't bathe in full baths of water that often, but they washed themselves down wet cloths often, as that was a way that people bathed through most of history, and how many people still bathe, and it works rather well. Also, the medical practice was not that primitive. Even going back to ancient Greece, they talked about using clean tools when working on injuries. And they talked about cleaning wounds. And these can be found still during the Middle Ages and during many different times in history. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a ancient Sumerian document talking about the same things and describing punishments for doctors who didn't do it as they must go through the same pain as their patient went through because they didn't do the practice right. Yes, diseases were more rampant, and cleaning this wasn't as great as they didn't understand germ, but they didn't have all the chemicals to deal with, like we have to deal with our vehicles, oils, and fluids, and all these different chemicals we have from things, and they understood to keep things cleanly as to prevent sickness. But they weren't always perfect and there were those troubles. But a simple wound would not likely kill you if you got medical attention in the ancient times. And even a simple wound might not stop you if you were in a battle. Many people even today will continue on battles with grievous wounds. There was a soldier in World War II who got both legs blown off by a hand grenade. But because of the adrenaline kept on fighting until reinforcements arrived and dragged him from the battlefield having to convince him that his legs were missing. And if someone is hyped up with adrenaline or drugs or alcohol, they can take a lot of punishment before stopping. And in ancient times, saying like an arrow, if it doesn't hit a vital organ, it would jam up a joint or something if it got there, but it might not instantly stop an individual and they could carry forward. So simple wounds will not kill you, unless of course maybe a gut wound. Gut wounds were hard to heal in ancient times, as all the intestines and gunk down there would get in and fester everything. But the medical practice was not that primitive in ancient times. Like and subscribe.